The Girl and the Wolf Once upon a time, there lived a girl with a red dress who was good friends with a wolf. This wolf had known her for years and years, and she was bringing him her meat, which he had left over from the day before. She walked to the woods to his house, past the stream, and past her friend's house. When she arrived, he greeted her, and she gave him the meat she had been saving. Surprised and delighted, he ate it promptly, thanking her profusely. They sat together for a while, and she picked him some flowers. It was a nice afternoon for the wolf, and he enjoyed it thoroughly. When she had picked up her things to leave, he asked where she was going. She replied, home as she always had, and as she always will. This saddened him. He wished he could stay with her longer, have more of a life with her. But he knew that one day she would go away and have her own life. The revelation of this thought brought a striking clarity to him. He understood that she would be gone one day and he would be alone without meat and without a friend she looked at him maybe understanding what he was feeling maybe not and then looked away as she went home she went out the door to go home he called out to her will you be back she looked at him and looked away and kept walking he ran out the door, chasing her, hoping that this was not the last time he would see her. Confused and surprised, she turned around and looked at him, asking why she was chasing him. he was chasing her. He replied, please, just stay with me a while longer. I wish not for you to leave this early. Understanding that this might be her only chance to leave. She nodded and said, I'm sorry, I must get home. The wolf looked at her and a feeling of rage built up within him. He would not live his life without her, without meat, without a friend. He turned towards her and bared his teeth. She took a few steps back, realizing something was wrong. He once again, in a pleading voice, called out to her, Please, stay with me. She said, No, I cannot. I have a life. I have a mother. This only angered him further. In a fit of blind rage, he attacked her, wounding her severely to the point where she could not recover. Looking down at what he'd done, he was aghast. He did not know how this happened or why it happened, but he knew that it did, and he knew that it was his fault. In a state of disarray, he walked back to his house and cried and cried. Punish himself for this deed, he shaved his fur off his back. He broke his teeth and clipped his whiskers. Still, this was not enough. The revelation that what he was done, he had done, was permanent, stuck with him. And that night, he walked out to the cliffs above his house and sat there looking at the moon waiting for a sign a sign that never came once he understood this with a sigh of acceptance he stood up and jumped into the jagged rocks below never to be seen again